On March 5th, 2022, Russian gymnast Ivan Kuliak stepped on the podium at the International Gymnastics Federation World Cup in Doha, Qatar. He won the bronze medal in the parallel bars. Next to him was Ilya Kuftin, the gold medal winner from Ukraine, and silver medalist Milad Karimi, representing Kazakhstan. The situation was already tense. Russia's invasion of Ukraine had begun just nine days earlier and Kuliak decided to show his support for the war by attaching this symbol to his uniform, three pieces of white tape, forming the letter Z. By that time, the Z was becoming an obsession in Russia and a controversial symbol worldwide as the new way to signal approval for the war and loyalty to Russian President Vladimir Putin. Since the invasion began in late February, the Z has shown up on billboards in St. Petersburg, t-shirt stands in Moscow, auto rallies, and flash mobs created for social media. There's even this photo, posted on the website of a children's cancer hospice, showing sick children organized into the shape outside in the snow. The letter has been used to vandalize the homes of Russians who oppose the war and is now banned from public display in several countries. So how did this symbol become shorthand for supporting Russian aggression? The letter Z was first spotted in late February 2022 on Russian military equipment gathering at Ukraine's border, along with other painted white markings like V and O. At first, what these symbols meant was unclear. Z isn't part of the Cyrillic alphabet, the writing system used in Russia and Ukraine. The Z sound in Cyrillic is written sort of like a three, and V looks like the Latin letter B. But once the invasion began, most analysts agreed the markings were for tactical purposes, likely to prevent confusion on the battlefield, and potentially denoting where specific forces were attacking from. The Russian military didn't explain what the markings meant, until intrigue around them grew online, and people in Russia saw the chance to use the Z as a tool for propaganda. One of the most common ways the letter Z is being given meaning in Russian is by Latinizing it in the Russian word za, which means for, and incorporating it into slogans like za pobiedo, za prezidenta, za nasza. So there was an attempt to fill it. That's Aglaya Snetkov. She's a lecturer on Russian foreign, security, and domestic policy at University College London. You increasingly have pictures which are so absurdly staged. It's obviously fake, but it sort of doesn't matter. So the pictures of the kids, for example, who like can't even read and write, they obviously have no idea what the Z they're holding means or anything like that. But it sort of almost doesn't matter so long as you throw it out there. Click on these slogans hashtags like For Russia and For Peace, and you'll find tens of thousands of posts on Instagram alone, many of them originating from the Russian Ministry of Defense. The political technologists in Russia, in Kremlin, and in and around the Ministry of Defense have decided to jump on the opportunity and reinfuse the meaning of those obscure symbols. Kirill Avramov teaches classes on Russian and Soviet symbolism and propaganda at the University of Texas, Austin. Avramov told me the point of these memes is to turn the Z, and sometimes the V, into something cool. He translated a few of them. So Patsanov is like a street slang for, for the boys. And it says, Silov v pravde, power is in truth, which is actually a quote from a post-Soviet blockbuster. They're picking already familiar slogans to post-Soviet Russians and putting into those uh, visuals and then recreating those in flash mobs, graffiti, and all the way to the presidential administration. One strategy for turning Z into a patriotic propaganda icon has been connecting it to Russian glory of the past, in particular, the Soviet victory in World War II. The Soviet Union suffered devastating losses defending itself against invasion by Nazi Germany. But they were ultimately victorious, with the Red Army fighting its way back to Berlin and defeating Hitler, establishing the Soviet Union as a world superpower. The Great Patriotic War is still a potent symbol of heroism and glory in Russia, and is honored each year on May 9th, or Victory Day, the anniversary of Germany's capitulation, with massive demonstrations of modern military might 
and remembrance of ancestors who were killed in the war. The historical trauma is immense in Soviet times. There was a huge sacrifice on the part of the Soviet people, and those are some highly symbolic events. This ever-present historical awareness makes World War II imagery a direct link to patriotism and presents the opportunity to connect the nostalgia of Soviet heroism with Russia's current attacks on Ukraine. Take this meme posted to the Russian Ministry of Defense's Instagram on March 4th, 2022, which, as of early April, has over 21,000 likes. It shows a Z superimposed over a black and white photo of Soviet soldiers on one side and a photo of modern Russian soldiers looking back on the other side. The hashtag says heroes. The photo on the left is a famous image from the original Moscow Victory Parade of 1945 celebrating Germany's surrender. It's still the largest parade ever held in Moscow's Red Square, organized by Soviet dictator Joseph Stalin. The image shows Soviet soldiers carrying captured Nazi flags and banners before destroying them and has been used in Soviet and post-Soviet patriotic propaganda ever since. So every Russian person would recognize that immediately. The Z is paired with the slogan Za Papiedo, for victory, and is styled in black and orange stripes, which, other than plain white, is the most common way the Z is displayed. The pattern represents the color scheme of the Ribbon of St. George, one of Putin's favorite propaganda symbols. Its origins trace back through hundreds of years of Russian history as a symbol of military glory. At the end of World War II, Stalin used the ribbon on a medal awarded to all Soviets who served in the war, including civilians. The ribbon, which everyone knows is, you know, if you see it, it's the Russian military might, and it's a signifier that you're Russian. The ribbon of St. George is now handed out every year ahead of Victory Day and is a central emblem of the celebrations. Invoking the memory of the glorious past in order to play this propaganda trick, right? Equating this war with this one in terms of justness and legitimacy. Beyond emerging as the new mark of loyalty to Putin, the Z doesn't hold any individual meaning. And that seems to be part of the strategy behind it. And that, I think, shows the way in which Putin's propaganda sort of works. He throws things out there, sees what lands, and then goes with that. The symbol just became recognizable. The explanations, which I call post-rationalization, is that this is all planned. You know, the Zs and the Vs stand for victory, for Zelensky, for you name it. The advancement of so many alternative explanations adds energy to their state propaganda. Whether or not any of these explanations end up sticking, the Z's evolution from tanks and trucks to memes, then flash mobs around Russia, to pro-Putin demonstrations around the world, shows that as a symbol's visibility grows, so does its power as a tool for propaganda. 